I'm not going to Here we go. I don't have no key. He's not 12. He might be. Do you have the tape when we go get it? No, I haven't. You got it on you? Yeah. Put your fingers straight on his eye. Whoops, sorry, bud. <laughs> Bro, you just gonna try and kill him or what? Get him on the land, get him on the dock. Yes, sir! Let's go! There it is. That's a good one. Hell yeah. Look at that. We don't have to measure him. He's over 12. You think? Yeah, bro. Shh, shh, Gilberto. Do you think that's in frame? Oh, no. Yeah, dude, that's Put your foot down. Step on that. Bring out Carly's forehead, tape it on that. Oh my god, dude, holy. What's he at right there? Tip pinch his tail. 16. 16 on the dot. Yeah, that's a good one. What's the cutoff? 12? 12 is the minimum. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Houston. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, baby. Yeah, that's a nice size. Probably around 16, 17 again. How do you feel after getting broke off twice and losing three fish? I wish we weren't friends sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I got that on video. <laughs> Look at this dude. Literally don't know how to tie a knot. <laughs> it's actually a decent fish. He's about 14, 14 and a half. Okay. Let's see right there. 14 and a half. Pectoral fin. Get up under the scales. Come at an angle, angle down from the head. Give it a little cut under the belly. Flip it around. Flip it around. Run the run the knife as close as you can to the backbone, just the tip of your knife. You don't need a lot. Once you get that, come up here, start actually filleting, coming down. Grab, pull up. Chipping away, running your blade down the, the rib cage, and the harder you pull up, the less your knife has to work. You just keep riding this down the backbone.
once you get to a certain point off that rib cage flip it over and then just ride your fillet knife down the tail and then all this pretty much just garbage take it off better to have a sharper knife safer and then so to take the skin off they have really scaly skin so the easiest way I found put it right here get a little pinch and then so you have that little piece of fat right there to have a little bit of backbone for your hand and then just ride it down You get to the end, start angling up, boom, it's just skin. So now you have this fillet, and they have rib bones running down the middle. Cut these, not rib bones, spinal bones, I guess. You just cut it out on either side, so you don't feel anymore. Cut it off. There you go, that's a fillet. Alright, what's up guys? We're gonna take our fish. We just filleted it. We just saw us fillet it. And we're gonna take Everglades. Boom. Original. And then we're gonna take a little garlic salt and a little bit of Tony Satchers. Just sprinkle it over the top. Now garlic salt we don't need a lot of because uh, Everglades is pretty salty. Lightly dusties and then donies, give it a little spice. Repeat on the other side. Butter, super generous with your butter. We got a lot of fish. Bingo. Okay, we got it on medium heat. And we're just gonna splash these puppies. Got the butter melted. This pan is terrible. It's absolute garbage. All right, it's been about five minutes on this side, three minutes, I don't even know. They're looking white. We're going to flip them. Oh, they're falling apart on me. Bingo, baby! Alright. Another like two minutes on this side. Should be good to go. Yeah. Alright, brother! I think they're done. Whoop out. Bang. Whippity doo dah. Turn down the heat, just a hair. And throw some more in. Oh, look at that little nugget. We cooking some fish. Ready? Let's see what you think, boy. Oh yeah. Tastes all right. No, it's good, dude. Scale of one to ten. Eight point five. Wow. Not bad, right? That sucks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dude, no, 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 no. One out of ten. Give me a one out of ten, for real. I'd give it an eight, seven. <laughs> Feel the 
Sizzle.